In the mitochondrion, the energy stored in NADH is used to generate a proton gradient across the mitochondrial membrane, and the energy of the proton gradient is used to make ATP. When glucose is oxidized during glycolysis and the Krebs cycle, the coenzymes NAD and FAD are reduced to NADH and FADH2. Inside the mitochondrial matrix, the electrons from NADH are transferred to the electron carrier coenzyme Q by NADH dehydrogenase, and the protons are transferred across the membrane to the intermembrane space. Coenzyme Q carries the electrons to the cytochrome BC1 complex. As the electrons move from the BC1 to cytochrome C, more protons are carried from the inside to the outside of the membrane. Electrons are also transferred from FADH2 to coenzyme Q, with the protons being transferred across the membrane. Cytochrome C transfers electrons to the cytochrome C oxidase complex. Protons are also transferred to the outside of the membrane by the cytochrome C oxidase complex. The cytochrome oxidase complex then transfers electrons from cytochrome C to oxygen. The terminal electron acceptor and water is formed as the product. The transfer of protons to the intermembrane space generates a proton motive force across the intermembrane of the mitochondrion. Since membranes are impermeable to ions, the protons that re-enter the matrix pass through special proton channel proteins called ATP synthase. The energy derived from the movement of these protons is used to synthesize ATP from ADP and phosphate. Formation of ATP by this mechanism is referred to as oxidative phosphorylation. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video.